All right, so I've got my battery disconnected down there. And then when you are taking that battery off, or when you're taking that battery off, just remember it's negative first and then positive. And then when you reinstall it, it's positive first and then negative. So the opposite of how you take that off. So to remove the battery or disconnect it, disconnect the negative cable first and then disconnect the positive and then the reverse to get it off. So I also have this thing off and it's basically uh, the four screws that we talked about and they don't come out so they don't actually fall out of the panel they kind of stay in there so I'm going to take that put that off to the side and then this is what I'm left with in here so the next thing I've got to figure out is I'm sure I have to disconnect all these wires right so that this whole panel pulls out and then there's one two three four screws I got to take out so I'm going to have to disconnect all these uh, negative wires or neutral whatever that is uh, all the white ones that's what they are and then I'll take all those out and then remove the black ones as well they look like they plug in up there so um, and there's just screws in here that you have to loosen for all those to fall out so I'm actually gonna use this video that I'm making right now is to kind of figure out the orientation in here or take a picture or something like that so I know exactly where everything goes because like I said the other power center looks exactly like this so I just need to wire it exactly the way it came out so um, that shouldn't be too hard so with that being said we're actually gonna open this bad boy so let me find a way of positioning this and moving my light here I'm working in my garage so or actually in the cricket which is in the garage so um, not a lot of lighting in here uh, let's see all right so I got that opened there's a little manual in here oh yeah series and uh, yep Oh man, are you kidding me? Look at this. Wow. Well, that sucks. That's gonna put a damp a damper in things. So this is everything that's in the box. But as you can see, they sent me a broken piece. Like, that's not cool. Oh, okay. Oh, that really sucks. That's gonna delay things a little bit. So I just pulled this out of the box, as you can see, and it's damaged. So, but yeah, there's nothing I can do with this since it's broken so badly. I just, I just can't believe they did that. Like, it's just not cool. If it was just the case that's broken, I, I could substitute it for the other one. But as you can see, it's actually broken on the piece that would stay as well. Like this corner basically on here is broken. So, ah, so I will have to send this back and we will have to start this all over again. So, um, but I'll call them tomorrow and uh, hopefully they can get one overnighted to me and get it replaced so we can still do this. So I was actually hoping I'd be able to knock this out tonight, but that's not gonna happen. But we'll just do a video to kind of show you what it all looks like. So this is what it looks like on the back. Um, got a bunch of wires here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wires. Okay, and then Put that away so here's what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for that replacement part that's uh, broken I'm going to take the rest of these screws out and then take a look in the back and see how this pull how this falls out after you remove those screws okay so I got those four screws on the outside out now so I think this is actually gonna be pretty dang easy you know as long as the wires, I mean, the wires are color coded, the ones that come on the box, which is these ones, the seven wires we were talking about. So, um, 
these are all color coded and they're just gonna go into the same positions in here and then you got these thick ones right here and those just come and terminate in the chassis ground over here and I believe this is a neutral over here and uh, that's about that so honestly it doesn't look too complicated at all at all and I uh, should be able to get, get that done within an hour or so so and then we'll be able to charge lithium the only complicated thing is uh, trying to get these guys to send me another one of these things on account of this nonsense. So, um, uh, okay. All right, so I decided to go ahead and keep working on removing these. So I went ahead and undid these um, wires down here. And if you see here, there's this one that looks a little bit different. It was just uh, on the very far end here and then the rest of these kind of came out of all the adjacent positions right here I used a flathead screwdriver uh, because I was too lazy to go get one of these square bits but it looks like over here I may not have a choice but um, we'll see how that plays out but same thing over here I just used a flat screwdriver right there and all these came out just fine so Actually, did I even loosen that top one? I don't think I got that top one. And then up here, there was a little tab that connects these uh, uh, these on here or holds this uh, switch in position. So I just took that out. I'm going to put that up there. So over here, these will have to come out. And it looks like it's the same kind of situation where they've got that square screw in there. Let's see if we can focus on that but you can use a flat screwdriver. So I'll be able to get in there. Some of these here look like they're a little bit tight to where I can, yeah, I may be able to get in there. I just need to change my angle, I guess. So I'm gonna remove those and then um, try to pop these out. And I, I think they just kinda, okay, yeah. So it just kinda pulls down. So if you see in there, there's a little uh, doohickey can we focus no we don't want to focus there's a little doohickey in there that this just slides into so that's how that stays in position you kind of position it like that and then you know, hook it down to the hook it down on the bottom and then push it in or push it up and then that hooks up up there so that's how that comes out so yeah this actually gives me more room to remove that so maybe I'll do the same thing with all of them and then remove the screw once that's out Okay, so after further inspection of these wires, it looks like it won't be too bad to try to ascertain where they came from. So if you're looking in here, the thickest one, uh, you see this gauge here is way thicker than the rest of these wires, even including this one. So the thickest one would go to the master switch over here, which is the one on the far left, your 30 amp switch. So it makes sense, right? Thick gauge, 30 amp switch. And then the small ones, uh, these two here just connect to the very same switch, so that's easy for those. And then this last one kind of goes off on its own tangent, so that's also kind of easy to figure out. So I'm going to just take them all out, and I think everything is going to be just fine. And I don't think these care what position they go into, whether it's left and right or right and left. That's not going to matter, I don't think. Um, let's see if there's anything about where they're coming from that would matter I don't think so but I'll just zoom in here and kind of pay attention to where they're coming from and just try to put them back in the same way kind of like that so the one on the left will just go on the left the one on the right will just go on the right right um, that's how I'm gonna do that but uh, yeah I'm gonna take them out all right so we've got this all the way out of there now and you can see all these wires are cut so the wires are color coded so no need to pay a whole lot of attention to that and you can see in here they all go to these different places I'm gonna of course have to strip these down so that I can make them usable again but uh, that's what that looks like in there the only one that had a fastener is this yellow one right here and you can tell on uh, this old one that it's got a little connection piece right there and the new one doesn't really have that so I uh, don't think it really matters that much but this is the rest of the wires in here um, how they go back up in there in retrospect I just wanted to kind of preserve this 
with the lengths that it already had. But in retrospect, maybe I'd be tempted to cut them a little bit shorter on here so that I can have a little bit more wire over here. But um, there's still enough room for me to reach in there and manipulate that. It's just that I like to work usually with a little bit more wire, but whatever, that's going to work. And then the way I've got these arranged, these two went in to the bottom. So if you look at the back of this old unit right here, you can see there's these two kind of uh, plugs that they put in here so that the wires, to route the wires basically. Um, the orange and the white over there went into the small one over here. And then the two yellow wires over there went into the big one over here. So I'll just return, the, return those the same way. And I will also remove these um, in some way or fashion. So you look in here. Oh yeah, it looks like you just have to pinch them and then they'll come out. So what I'm gonna do with this new one is that I'll make holes in the same locations and replace those holes with the plastic pieces that are in here. So that's how that's gonna work out. But this is your power center and uh, the fuses I'm gonna have to keep. So I'll transfer these fu uh, the fuses, all of them except these bottom two. I don't need those because it comes with those, but I'm gonna need the rest of these fuses. So I'll transfer those into the new one. Um, but that is what it looks like right now. Honestly, I think I could have replaced all this tonight if it wasn't for the fact that this is cracked. So I'm kind of still a little upset about that so i keep repeating it because i'm very very upset but uh anyways that's what it looks like in here and that's how you would take that out so i'm going to make this part one of the video and then we'll make part two actually assemble